Hello, this is a part of wireless networking videos on securitytube.net. In this video, I will be talking more about wireless LAN basics, especially acknowledgement of wireless packets. Now, wireless medium is very unreliable medium and to make sure that every packet is reaching its destination successfully, there needs some positive acknowledgement procedure. Now, how, ex how exactly these positive acts are transmitted and how the receiver is, will come to know whether its transmitted frame was, success was received successfully is the part of this discussion. These are some facts about ACK. ACK is a control packet. You must be knowing in IEEE 802.11 protocol, there are three types of packets, control packets, management packets and data packets. Acknowledgement or ACK falls under control packets. It's a positive acknowledgement of reception of unicast data. So for multicast and broadcast data, acknowledgement will not be sent, but for every unicast packet, ACK will be sent. Again, there is a small disclaimer here for every unicast packet. According to IEEE 802.11e and N standards, there is a block ACK procedure. In block ACK procedure, the acknowledgement will not be sent for every unicast packet, but a block of packets will be acknowledged with a single ACK. This is for the simple reason of conserving the bandwidth, sending ACK takes some time, some bandwidth and to conserve that bandwidth, block ACK procedure is used. Nevertheless, ACK is the smallest packet in IEEE 802.11 protocols. It contains only the receiver's address. ACK contains only receiver's address. It does not contain the transmitter's address. So there is a simple question. How to know which ACK is meant for me from the X transmitter? So if there is access point A1 and two stations associated with that access point S1 and S2, access point has just now sent a frame to station S1 and it has received an acknowledgement directing to access point. Now how to know that this acknowledgement is sent by station S1 only and not S2 or not any other devices? There is a proper reasoning for that wait for my next slide i will explain how to know that which acknowledgement is meant for whom its protocol defined ACK has to be sent in sips time after the last unicast packet by the receiver with no check for bz or ideal medium so acknowledgement packet the packet has to be acknowledged within sips time or after sips time the receiver has to immediately send the acknowledgement packets. Let's see the timing diagram to understand these things correctly. So here my data packet is being transmitted by the source. Source is transmitting data packet to the destination. Here the data packet transmission has ended. After the end of data packet, unicast data packet transmission, the destination has to wait for SIFS time short interframe spacing time and once this SIFS ends without checking BZ ideal medium it has to send the ACK. ACK has to be sent by destination to the source. Now acknowledgement frame will contain only the address of source. Now that's the way the source will come to know that this ACK is coming from this destination only or the destination of the last packets only because the for the six time, everyone will be waiting. Uh, rather, everyone will be waiting for dips time to start their contention window where DIFS is more than SIFS. But destination will be only waiting for SIFS time to transmit the ACK. So destination will wait for SIFS time. It will transmit the ACK. And then since there was again some transmission going on in the medium, everyone will wait for DIFS time to start their contention window. And this makes it crystal clear that which ACK is meant for which frame. And once this dips time uh, ends, the contention window and after that the back off window will start. So let's see one Wireshark trace where the packet and acknowledgements are seen. Now first packet is a unicast packet 
from this source to this destination and in response to this packet the destination is sending a acknowledge packet acknowledgement packet to the source if you see the contents of the acknowledgement packet it contains the type and subtype of course the acknowledgement type will be control acknowledgement will be sorry subtype will be acknowledgement it contains the frame control field the frame control field contains all its 2ds from ds and other information then it contains the duration field duration is in this packet currently zero it's a two byte duration field and then the receiver address so act packet it just type subtype flags frame control which overall takes two bytes two bytes of duration this zero zero and then the six byte of the receiver's address so it is the smallest packet six plus two plus two that is 10 byte packet 10 byte layer 2 packet it contains the acknowledgement for the last packet it has to be sent after SIPS interval itself the receiver should not do any busy idle check of the medium and it just has to go ahead and send the acknowledgement packet after the end of SIPS interval that's it on video on acknowledgement thank you feel free to browse other videos on securitytube.net thank you